Good morning, everyone. I hope that you are doing well, that you are safe and healthy with your families. And I hope that your week has been going smoothly or at least going better than the previous weeks. Um, Tuesday's assignment is or was due today at 8 a.m. So I'm hoping that everyone has submitted their work because I will begin grading uh, today. Um, I know that Tuesday there were some glitches with YouTube, especially those of you who have Chromebooks. Um, you are now even more restricted to what you can see on your Chromebooks. Remember, they are not yours. You do have to return them in the same condition. And your parents should have signed some papers indicating that you would take care of the Chromebook. So um, I am mindful that many of you do not have access to YouTube because of the restrictions. So I'm making sure that I am now uploading um, my videos and links and everything, um, not on the Google Doc like on Tuesday, but right here. So if you look at my screen, you'll see that I have all the links that you are gonna need for today right here, okay? So I didn't really put anything on um, your Google Doc except for the actual reading to Julie of the Wolves. And um, I'll probably have that posted as a separate file as well, just so you have, excuse me, just so you have access in both places. So let's go ahead and go over what you are doing today. Number one, you should be watching my instructional video, so thank you for that. Number two, you are gonna open up the Google Doc that has been posted, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up in a bit. Again, you're looking at my teacher view and um, on my screen, and you should have your student view, so your screen is gonna look different from mine. Um, number three, you need to follow the instructions on the Google Doc. Number four, refer to the other videos and links listed below as needed. Okay, so you have all these links that you're going to need today um, at different times during your um, lesson or during your activity. So just make sure that you are paying attention to the, to the instructions so that you follow and you, and you click on these as needed, okay, because they're not really in order right now. Number five, you do need to submit today's assignment by next Tuesday by 8 a.m., okay? And there is an extra credit opportunity. So I have posted three Musella articles to read on Musella.com. And all you need to do is read those articles and take the quizzes. You don't need to do the writing portion. Um, I'm just gonna look at your quiz scores and the more points you get, the more extra credit you get. So let's just quickly take a look at the extra credit for today. So on Musella, I posted three articles. One is called Bronx Zoo Tiger Has Coronavirus, Red Wolves Still Endangered, and Fake Animal News Goes Viral. So I posted those three articles um, they are posted as seventh grade reading level. So if the reading is too challenging, you can change the reading level to um, uh, to a to a level that's more suitable for your for you as a reader. Um, if it's too easy, then you can change the level to to be a little higher. Okay, so you can adjust the levels as needed. But to get the extra credit, you do have to take the quizzes, okay? You don't have to do the writing. You can you just do the quizzes, and that way I can just quickly, easily check how you did, and I can give you your extra credit, okay? And again, that'll be due by next Tuesday, so you can also take care of that over the weekend. Let's go back to today's activity. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up your Google Doc and we can review it together. You can also um, open like a split screen and open the Google Doc so that you have my video and your Google Doc next to each other. If you don't wanna do that or you don't know how to do that, then that's okay. So here is the Google Doc assignment for today. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see a little bit better. Okay. And just a reminder, Please join me today for a live meeting at 2.30 
on Google Meet. I will be posting a link to today's meeting um, on Google Classroom about around 2.25. So my meetings are every Tuesday and Thursday from 2.30 to 3. And on the meeting, you basically can ask me questions about today's work. So if you struggled, you had a question, you want to maybe just verify an answer or you want to review the work, um, join today at 2.30. I will post the link later on today and just log in, join the meeting, and uh, I will be happy to answer your questions as well as say hello to everyone live in person, not in person, but live um, via Google Meet. Okay, so I hope to see you guys there. If you don't need me to meet with me, you don't have questions, then you don't need to join the meeting. Okay, this is really for people who would otherwise be coming to tutoring. So think of our Tuesday, Thursday meetings as a tutoring session for about 30 minutes. Okay. All right, so my instructional video has been posted, so you should be watching it. Here are your tasks for today. Number one, you are gonna continue to work on your quill.org grammar activities, which are due by May 1st. Now, if you already completed them, check again, because I added some more activities for you to do. Some of you had already finished your activities because you didn't have very many to do because you did so well on your diagnostic test, but I still want you to continue to practice your grammar um, so that you are better prepared for seventh grade writing. So I did add more activities, so check them out. Make sure that every day you're going on quill.org and you're completing those activities, okay? And I don't have quill.org open, oh, I do. So this is quill.org right here. This is what it looks like. So just make sure you log in and that you, when you log in, you log in with your Google account, okay? And everyone should have already taken their diagnostic test because you cannot do the activities that I've assigned until you've taken your diagnostic test. If you have more questions about that, please let me know. And those of you who just got a Chromebook, you haven't done any of the work in the last um, three weeks, you definitely need to go on to quill.org. Um, I excused you for the first couple of weeks of work, but that third week was basically just quill grammar activities. You need to do those still, okay? Because right now you're missing assignments. So um, I posted the quill.org website here, just log in with your Google account and start your activities, okay? And just do a little bit every day. All right. Number two, you're gonna read the next several pages of Julie of the Wolves, and I posted the Google Doc, and I'll go ahead and pull that up in a bit. You can also access the audio version in today's assignment post. So, on Classroom, here is a video of me reading to you. So if you need an audio, like you need someone to read to you, click on that video and follow along with me on the screen and then you can hear me read it to you. If you don't need me to read to you, you can read it on your own, you wanna read it to yourself, um, then I have posted the reading here, okay? And you just click on that and you're good to go, okay? Number three, complete the activities below and submit when completed. Okay, and again, this is due 8 a.m. by next Tuesday, April 22nd. All right, so let's go ahead and go over your activities. So when you open up Julie of the Wolves, I'll go ahead and pull it up myself. Okay, this is what it looks like move myself out of the way okay when you uh, open up the assignment it's pages 43 to 56 of the ebook that i've been reading online which you can all buy for like seven bucks um, on glows.com or any kind of a, a website that sells electronic books that's what an ebook is an electronic book and i went ahead and as i read um i highlighted important information so all the important information 
from the reading is highlighted for you already since you're not really able to do that on the Google Doc, since these are all screenshots from my ebook, okay? So we're gonna just go over this a little bit today because I wanna go over your activities and make sure you know what you're doing. Okay, so you're gonna read that today. Let's take a look at vocabulary. You're gonna list 10 new words you learned and provide a definition based on context clues or a dictionary or thesaurus that's online. Number one has been done for you. So I'm actually gonna do number one right now. So. Tuesday, I had asked you, I already gave you a list of 10 words. Now I'm asking you to go ahead and find your own 10 words. And you're all gonna have different words because you all have a different vocabulary span. So as a reader, as I'm reading, if I come across a word that I don't know, and it could be maybe a particular animal or an, uh, a verb or an adjective, I'm gonna write it down. So I'm gonna go through this. I'm gonna pretend I'm reading to myself. And as soon as I come across a word that I don't know, so maybe I don't know the word abundance. So I'm gonna write that down. And then I wanna write a definition. So maybe I can open up dictionary.com or maybe I could just use context clues. So let's see. The abundance of the big deer of the north did my ex no good, for she had not brought a gun on her trip. Okay, I'm going to back up a little bit. When you try to use context clues, you want to read around the word. That means read the sentence before and read the sentence after. So I'm going to back up. The caribou population increased, and this in turn increased the number of wolves who prey on the caribou. The abundance of the big deer of the north did my ax no good, for she had not brought a gun on her trip. So if the big deer is referring to caribou, and if the caribou population increased, what does an abundance mean? An abundance means many, a lot, plenty, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put for abundance, and you can, uh, again, this is going to be done for you. I'm going to write a large amount or plenty of, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and press enter to do number two, okay? I'm going to delete that because I want you to do that yourself, okay? Actually, I'll put it, I'll put it there for you. So you're gonna put in your own vocabulary word, your own definition, and then press enter, and you wanna have a total of 10 vocabulary, brand new words. These are words that you've never heard before, or maybe you've heard them, but you're not really 100% sure what they mean, okay? So find 10 of those. Next activity, characters. List all the wolves' names and write a brief description of each. Number one has been done for you, okay. So in this reading today, you are gonna meet even more wolves, okay? So, so far, the main wolf that we've read about is Amarok, and that's the title of this section of the book. So the book is divided into three parts. The first part is called Amarok. So I'm gonna go ahead and write his name, and again, this is done for you. And what can we say about Amarok? He is, See, he's a male. He's leader of the wolf of the of the wolf pack. Okay, he's male. He's leader of the wolf pack. He's large. Okay, and um, you might want to add some more information about the other. You know, that is kind of very a very short description. That's okay, I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna find some more information about Amarok and I'm gonna add to it, okay? So you don't necessarily need to pause, but I do, because I want I don't wanna waste your, your viewing time. All right, so I went ahead and also added respected by all wolf adults and pups, okay? So you just wanna give a list of, just a brief list or description of each wolf. And again, you're just focusing on the wolves, the adult wolves and the pups. Okay, so list all of the names.
that we learn from today's reading with the description of each one, okay? Reading comprehension questions. Answer each question in a complete sentence. So I'm not gonna do these ones for you, but I will go over each question. Number one, what is the conflict or problem Myax experiences? And Myax, Myax is the same as Julie. So you're gonna see the name Julie in today's reading kind of by accident because I think my ebook accidentally put Julie's name when we're not really supposed to know her name is Julie yet. But that's okay, I'm sure you're smart enough to have figured it out. Julie is Myax. So in the Eskimo language, she's called Myax, but in the Gusak language or the white man language or in English, it's Julie. Okay, so they're the same person. The Julie of the Wolves, Myax, Myax of the Wolves. What is the conflict that she experiences? Number two, why did the number of wolves increase? Okay, why has the number of wolves increased? And I'm, I'm actually gonna rewrite this a little differently. Why has the number of wolves increased in Alaska? Just wanna be very specific. What do you think Gusak talk is? Okay, so my ex always says, that's Gusak talk, that's Gusak talk. Well, what is Gusak talk? What do you think that is? Number four, which wolf babysits the pups? And number five, what does my ex need to do to be accepted by Amarok? Okay, so you, in order to answer these questions, you need to do the reading, okay? Here's your essential question of the day. You're gonna answer the essential question in a complete paragraph citing evidence from the text and using transitions. What do I mean by citing evidence? You need to give at least one quote, okay? Just one quote from the text to support your answer. I'm not telling you you need to write and say show so. You can if that works for you, but I just want to see a nice chunk of writing and it should be in five to 10 sentences. So answer the essential question in a complete paragraph of five to 10 sentences, citing evidence from the text and using transitions. I put a hyperlink here. So if you need to go to your list of transitions, just click on that and it should be there. Okay, you also have it in your Google Drive. The topic sentence has been done for you. So, and it really should say the topic sentence has been started for you because you actually need to complete it. So here's the question. Which wolf does Myax identify as the leader? What does she learn about him that lets her know he is the leader? Whom does she compare this wolf to? So I already started the first sentence. Myax identifies blank as the leader. So what you need to do is you're gonna delete that and you're gonna put in the name of the wolf who Myax identifies as the leader of the pack, okay? and then you're gonna finish the rest of the paragraph. Questions slash comments. List 10 questions and or comments about today's reading. Number one and two have been done for you. So as you are reading, you might have questions, you might have thoughts, and I wanna know what they are, and you need to make a list of 10. You can do 10 questions, 10 comments, or a mixture of each, okay? I'm gonna do a question and a comment for you, so all you need to do are eight more. Okay, so as you're reading, you're gonna wanna come across a question or you're gonna wanna think of a question or comment. So I'm gonna pause the video so that I don't waste your time and I'm gonna go through my reading and I'm going to um, go ahead and, actually I'm gonna do this live. I'm gonna do this in the video because I want you to see how I do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and read silently to myself and you can read with me. So, Let's see, I have a question here, and it has to do with this what I highlighted. The white fox, the snowy owl, the weasel, the jagger, and the siskin had virtually disappeared. So my question is, why did the white fox, the snowy owl, the weasel, Jagger, 
wonder what a dagger is. You may want to look that up and like Google image it. And the siskin. Now what's a siskin? I wonder what that is. Feel free to Google image anything that you read that you don't know what it, what it is. Look it up. Why did the white fox, the snowy owl, the weasel, the jagger, and the siskin virtually disappear? Like, what does that mean? I'm putting that in quotation marks because that's what it says in the text. So what does that mean? Like, why, why did all of the, these animals disappear? Are they endangered? Did they go extinct? Did they leave to go find food somewhere else? What happened to them? So again, your questions are not going to have answers. This is just inquiry. I want to know what you're thinking, what questions that you have that you don't have an answer to. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and write a comment as well. So I'm going to do another quick read. I'll go down here this time. And I'm going to go ahead and read this paragraph here. Okay, so I have a prediction, and this is going to be my comment. So I predict that my ex will learn to hunt so she can eat meat and not grass. Because in this paragraph here, it talks about how she eats grass because she doesn't know how to hunt and she doesn't have a gun. So um, that's my prediction. And you can write a prediction, a thought, I think, I predict, I wonder, I hope, I think, I feel. I think I already said I think. Um, anything that starts with an I. Okay, so um, go ahead and do eight more of these. Okay, and just press enter to go to number three. So that's there for you. So you're going to write seven more or eight more, sorry. And then finally, your video question. Watch the short video located in today's assignment post and answer the following question. Have a sheet of paper handy. So get out a little sheet of paper, open up your interactive notebook. Now your interactive notebook, there's you can just kind of use it for journaling. You can use it as scratch paper now because I can't collect them or check them or grade them anymore. So they're just for you to use as you wish, okay? So I'm going to go to today's assignment. I posted this video. It's called, What Position Would You Be in a Wolf Pack? Okay. And um, it is from YouTube. So those of you um, who don't have access to YouTube, you can still watch the video here. Just don't watch it on YouTube. You can watch it on Classroom, but not on YouTube. And I hope that makes sense and I hope it works. So you're gonna, it's about seven minutes. You're going to watch and it's basically a quiz and it's gonna ask you questions. So if you were in a wolf pack, which wolf would you be? What kind of a wolf would you be? So it's gonna be a quiz and you need a paper so you can write down your score, okay? So it's kind of a fun activity that I want you guys to do. And then here's your question. What position would you be in a wolf pack according to your score from the video quiz? Explain your results, okay? So what position would you be in, in a wolf pack? And, um, and tell me why. What, did your res what, what, what was your score? Why did you get that score? What do you think about that? And just explain, okay? And that's it, all right? So again, you have a few days to get this done. It's due next Tuesday. I hope you enjoy the activity. And if you have any questions, please meet with me today at 2.30, um, or you can send me a Google chat a message or an email. Alrighty, so have a good day. Enjoy your weekend. I will uh, talk to you again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Uh, we will be posting something um, as a grade level. So you don't necessarily have an assignment for me tomorrow, but you have some kind of, you'll have some fun choices to do tomorrow from your sixth grade teachers that we're all gonna be talking about today. So um, have a great day and enjoy.